welcome to BBC World. Mass strikes are underway across the United States in protest at the country's immigration laws. Tens of thousands stayed away from work and school. Others have avoided spending money. It's all an effort to show how the American economy depends on migrants. There are up to 12 million illegal immigrants in the US and Mexicans account for more than half of that number. Every year, up to 1.2 million migrants enter the U.S., both legally and illegally. Most illegal immigrants live in California. That's over 2.5 million of them. About a sixth of illegal immigrants are under the age of 16. And it's estimated that 40% of all illegal immigrants work in agriculture. This is the giant that no longer sleeps. Millions of illegal Latino migrants who are now coming out of the shadows to demand the right to live and work legitimately in this country. In Los Angeles, half a million marched in support of their cause. In Chicago, the canyons of downtown filled with 300,000 demonstrators. Even in Milwaukee, in the heart of middle America, 100,000 turned up. It was the same story in 26 cities across the country. Today wasn't just about the noisy protests on the streets. It was also about the silent boycott at work. Agricultural businesses are the first that would collapse without migrant labor. We have a day without tomatoes, without an immigrants, without tomatoes. To find out about the impact on the restaurant industry, all we had to do today is try to have lunch at our favorite deli, the Port of Piraeus, owned by a Greek-American but staffed exclusively by Latinos. It's empty because they're about to close early and head to the demonstration. Bardino Molina from Honduras has been here for 18 years. He's now a legal resident, but many of his friends aren't. This boycott is important for us, he told me. We provide the backbone of this economy, and we need to show some backbone to our community, legal and illegal. So Frankie Doll, the owner, locks the doors, hoping there won't be too many days like this. But on Capitol Hill, there is fierce opposition to reform, especially from Republicans. I have two huge problems trying to get anything done on immigration in the United States. One's the Democratic Party. It sees massive immigration, both legal and illegal, as a source of voters, right? The other is the Republican Party that sees massive immigration, both legal and illegal, as a source of cheap labor. Today's marches were peaceful and patriotic. Most Americans don't support their plight, but nor can they imagine an economy without Latinos. Matt Fry, BBC News, Washington. This was a day of immigration protests around the country. Legal and illegal immigrants stayed away from workplaces, schools and shopping centers to show their economic weight. And thousands gathered at rallies and marches from Miami to Detroit to Denver. In New York City, protesters linked arms in a human chain. Several large companies, including Gallo Wines and Tyson Foods, shut down some or all of their operations. We'll have much more on this story right after the news summary.